What is up, you guys? Dirtbike Gamer back with another Farming Simulator 22 video today, guys. We're gonna be finishing up planting and I think taking care of the sheep a little bit more. Uh, in the last episode, we got sheep. I'm not sure. It looks like we have a hundred of them. So they're full on grass. Um, productivity is 100%. Their wool is at none right now. Uh, so wherever the sheep are, I think they're over there. We don't have any wool. Uh, first thing we gotta do today in this episode is probably sleep we'll sleep till eight in the morning that should be good there we go we're gonna go ahead then and pop back in to the tractor in a second here there we go all right now we're gonna go ahead and uh teleport over to the john deere and set in the field right now you can see we're planting wheat so uh, since we did sleep, the field is going to be a little bit off where uh, where it's growing and stuff. The growth stages are going to be just a little bit off. Um, I think in the last episode also, we also bought a, um, yeah, we also bought a sprayer. So we're going to have to, we're going to hire this on a worker actually. We're going to go and get our other tractor, the Fent here. Uh, it's already got a front weight on it, so we'll be fine with that. We're going to go ahead and actually uh, get to spraying here. I'm gonna drive down to the shop here. You can see the field number one right here. It's growing. Looks like it's growing pretty nicely so far. I'm gonna go ahead and get out on the road here. And oh I'm going the wrong way. I gotta turn it. I gotta turn around. Wait a second. There we go. Gotta turn around real quick. I've done that before where I've gone the other way and gone through a whole different way back to the shop there we go we're gonna go up this huge hill right here gotta watch out for this road coming up traffic in this map loves to loves to just come flying out right in front of you here around that turn all right here's the shop you can see the sprayer in the back we also bought, we also bought a two fertilizer pallets so we'll go ahead and get the sprayer all filled up and go fertilize those fields there we go fill it all up there we go didn't even use a full pallet that means we'll have more for the future when we spray it again probably put a i think we'll put two fertilizer uh states on it um i think that two or three i think is uh, what's normal here it looks like it's um it's it's two okay it's two so we're gonna fertilize this time and then we're gonna have to fertilize one other time all right let's stop here all right so here's our field right here we'll just cut across the road right here there we go unfold the sprayer now i do have uh, all the crop destruction turned off so i shouldn't have any uh trouble with um crop getting destroyed at all while we drive over it so oh looks like one more arm here to unfold oh hung up on a tree that's never fun there we go all right go ahead and start spraying now i might have went a little bit overkill with the sprayer or how big of a field because we're gonna get stuck on a lot of these trees around here so uh, you see the planter up there on field one still going. By the end of the episode, he should be done with uh, planting. Oh, don't want to lower it. Shut it off. Okay, so one row looks like that just took up 5%. We might actually go through this a little bit faster. There we go. Two fertilizing here. It's not easy to fertilize in first person, I'll tell you that. Like, you'll you'll look over, but there's really nothing to see. You kind of have to go from, like, a top view to see where you're actually fertilizing. Because the colors will be a little bit off where uh, you fertilize and where you haven't yet. We'll go ahead get the last strip right here. There we go. Then uh, we're not ready to fertilize on field one yet, so we will have to uh, uh, 
figure out what to do and until then so we can't fertilize it there there we are perfect all right now i do know we have a plow back over here at the farm that I'm probably not going to be using so i'll just go ahead now and put the sprayer away then go ahead and probably get that plow and go sell that and use the money for that and probably won't use that header car also so we'll I think that plow is actually three points. We'll probably take the plow and the header cart down to the shop. There we go. Detach from that. Uh, lower down front weight. Detach from that. There we go. Perfect. Now, now we're gonna go ahead and uh, gonna attach to the plow over here. No, right there, right there. Here we go. The plow should be able to sell this for. I'm not really sure how, how much this would be worth it. It is new, I think. So, so is this header cart. But we don't really have fields far enough away to be using a header cart that often. And we can just, um, that field over there, we can just go around there to get the field uh, too. There we go. Uh, we're going to take the other exit out here, really. Don't want to have to back up this. Oh, okay, there isn't any exit. Never mind then. Oh, I didn't realize how many silage bunkers we actually have. So if we ever wanted to do silage, we uh, definitely have enough storage for it. This is not easy to maneuver around this tight yard here. There we go, perfect. Make that turn. And we're gonna drive back down to the shop, get these sold, and uh, probably wait till that planter is uh, all done, because there's really, there's really nothing else to do until the planter is done. Um, I don't, I don't really know. We could, uh, we could maybe actually buy chickens. Um, I think we do have a chicken coop or some more animals. So that that'd be one option. Go ahead, take a right, right here. There we go. Try to make it up this hill. Ooh, we're dropping down speed a lot. It's like, it's like we also dropped down a gear. Now in fifth gear. Nice fields around here, looks like. This is a pretty nice map, to be honest. This is uh, the uh, the old stream farm. I believe is its name and it's actually it's actually a pretty well detailed map you got you got a pretty good amount of fields definitely a uh, definitely a tight map so that's always that's always interesting there we go we'll get this we go. get this uh, lowered down and go right there go ahead back up from that all right, now we gotta sell these. Go sell this. Looks like it's worth um, almost nine hundred dollars. This is worth uh, oh twelve thousand. Nice. All right. I'm not really sure what I would have expected to get from those. But probably not too too much. All right. Go ahead. Drive back to the farm now. Is it left or right? I never remember what direction it is. Like there aren't that many roads to go down. I just, I, for some reason, I can just never remember where I take a left and where I take a right on this map. Traffic goes pretty fast, actually. And there's the sheep you see. We'll go and check on them in a second here. Uh, they have a lot of. Uh, grass still. Uh, we have some grass bales over there still, so they should be fine for a very long time. And we're still working up there. Going to fertilize that later. Uh, right here, the sheep right here. I'm going to park the tractor up right here. I think these are the sheep, right? Yep, here's the sheep. Alright. Let's see them.
All right. So everything with the sheep looks good. Yep. Grass. Um, health is good. Productivity is good. All right. Right now they're worth um 125 dollars. Um, I think. Uh, I think when you can sell them, I mean you can sell them anytime. I believe, but uh, when a, a good time to sell them is when they're worth like a thousand. Um, you, you definitely get quite a good amount of money. That'd be, um, that'd be quite a bit of money we can make off the sheep. Um, now we just gotta wait till the wool starts uh, spawning over here in pallets. So I think I'm gonna wait till this uh planter is done and then i'll see you guys when the uh planter is done and we're all ready to fertilize all right guys so i actually found another job to do we're gonna hop on in here on the in the little front loader machine here and head with, head, head down to the shop we're gonna buy some pigs actually so let's go ahead and buy some pallet forks for this thing i believe hmm what would it be in would it be in telehandlers or Yes, I think. Is this the brand of it? I think. Yes, okay. So it's 2630. So it'd be in telehandlers then. So we need to go down to telehandlers. Buy some pallet forks. There we go. Pallet forks. And then, yeah, one known. So we didn't have any before then. And then a pallet of pig food, actually. Right here, pig feed. We're going to buy uh, two of these, actually get the pigs fed uh, i haven't purchased them just yet i'm gonna wait on that for a minute until we get their uh food would probably be a lot better just to take the truck down but we're, we're just gonna take this and we got some pallet forks to pick up also it's gonna be kind of interesting going out onto the road with this look at that man trying to on that hill over there. Right, there we go. Right, take a right right here. Ooh, some nice old bikes right there. Yeah, the level of these hill on this map is just amazing. It's like kind of impressed with how much like the little details like the uh, power uh, uh, the hydro poles and everything all the signs and everything at the store here all the people walking all the all the little walkways around here all right I'm gonna go ahead come on over here I think we might only be able to take one at a time, actually. So. Might have to make another load. Or we'll probably just bring the truck down after, uh, after we take them, this machine back. Oh, okay. That, that's not working. It actually seems way too big. Maybe it's... Maybe one thing we should try would be a skid loader. Because actually, that might actually work. It's possible that this is, like, located in telehandlers, but it's not skid loader or front loader. Okay, it must be front loader, because I don't know why that wouldn't work. So we're going to sell that. Oh, yeah, front loader tools. I should have looked in that first. That probably would have been a little bit better of me to uh, look in there first. So front loader tools here. Here we go. There we go. Pallet forks. Nice. All right. On the back of the the pallet fork is on. And a little light up on there. Nice. Not too dark. It is getting kind of dark though. Alright. Go ahead and uh. Oh, actually, we could take both at a time. Or both in one trip. Could be. Yes, we can. Okay. Alright, so here's where it gets a little bit sketchy. When I mean, you gotta pick up two pallets at the same time. Now. I feel like these pallets would not. Oh nope, that's right. I I don't really trust that. I think I think this uh, little machine might go might go flying if I do that. 
go. Ooh, he, he won out. He won out the end of lane a damn bit. Right, we're gonna have to make sure to keep that at a front loader low then. Yeah, it's definitely putting a lot of weight there. That is a thousand liters of pig feed. Not sure how heavy that these are, but it must not be too light. Alright, now we just gotta run back to the farm now and I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, we made it back here to the farm. Just coming over here to the pig pen now. Here we are, right over here by the shovel. Get this ready to unload. Oh, looks like it's already gonna unload for us. Nice. Alright, now we can buy these. All these pigs. Buy a 60 of them, that should, should work. Alright. Well, there we go. Alright, now pigs take a lot, a lot of food. So, there you're going to have like your root crops and all that. I believe that's um sugar beets, potatoes, um stuff like that. Um and then your grain, which is they okay, it says down here um it'd be a uh, corn, wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybeans, potatoes, sorghum, and sugar beets. And then uh their water. Actually, I don't see I don't, I don't see anything where it says water. It's kind of like the sheep. I don't, I'm not really sure what's going on with that. For some reason, the animals don't require water, but I feel like they should require, oh, okay. Well, there's the water trough right there, it looks like. I don't think it's already full. Yeah, so maybe, maybe it doesn't require it then. Because this is not an unloading point. That's like a load up point. So is that. That must be where you get all the slurry. Um, oh, nope. Not going out. See them ready to run out there? Alright. I'm going to go over here now to the truck. We're going to head back to the shop now and pick up that last pallet of pig food. Turn on the lights. Alright. 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 It is getting kind of late. It is September right now. Um, we're gonna have to sleep here in a minute. Planter looks like it's over halfway down the field now. And I'm hoping we'll be able to finish up planting this episode. Um, I think so. That'll probably be closer to the end of the episode. Uh, we don't really have much to do with the sheep except run the time and move the pallet to bull, I'd assume. And not much. Uh, as well to do with the pigs. So, alright, here we go. Lower that tailgate there. I'm gonna also pick up this, uh, oh, I gotta use the F12 mod. The super strength. There we go. Alright. And now I'm gonna put this in the bed truck here also. Um, because I think that that planter might run out of seeds. And I don't want to be stuck that would seed back at the farm and have to come back down to the shop and we could just easily grab the town. Okay. Yep, no one's coming. Well, that's a nice classic car. Alright. Stop sign here. Perfect, there we go. Coming. Alright. Definitely don't want to get into a wreck with all this stuff on the back here. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pull in here. I can barely see where I'm going. Luckily the truck has pretty good lights. There we go. Lower the tailgate and do the straps. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Unload a thousand liters into there. There you go, perfect. Oh, now you can actually see it. Nice. Alright. Looks like they're all getting kind of tired. Ready to go to sleep. Oh yeah, this one's sleeping over here. Alright. Well, I'm gonna hop in the truck here. Um, 
I'm gonna leave the truck there for now. I'm gonna head back in here to the house, sleep till the next day. Um, one thing that can actually help, um, if you're not done planting yet, like I am here, you can see it's, uh, still cultivated right there. If you're not done planting, a little way to get around the crops growing is to sit, switch the seasonal growth, uh, to pause. And then you can sleep as much as you want and the crops won't grow, nothing's gonna happen. Um, your animal production and stuff will, um... Like the productions of your animals, so the slurry for the pigs, I think, and the wool for the sheep and all of that should uh, still continue. Then you just turn it back on. And there we go. Alright, let's see. Let's go over here see if we have any uh, wool pallets yet. Let's see. I'm not sure if we do. Oh, I think we do. Oh, yeah, we do. Right there. Not sure where this would have went. I think right there, probably. I accidentally moved it. There we go. Alright, still good on grass. Nice. Alright. I like this little... I'm not sure if you'd call this a pond or whatever. This little stream right there. Alright. Shut that door so none get out. But anyways, guys. I think this is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, bef uh, before the next episode, I will get done all this planting here. The next episode will... Um, continue um taking care of the animals and probably put the second fertilizer state on field one and the first fertilizer state on field two anyways guys i'll see you guys in the next episode